A week of growing expectations of a coming Russian offensive was turned on its head Wednesday as Germany and the US announced their intention to send heavy combat tanks to Ukraine. The sudden show of resolve on supplying tanks, after months of reluctance, particularly from Germany, has prompted some Russians to fear that Ukraine will now be equipped for a major counterattack. That would be significant reversal after speculation had been growing this month about a Russian spring offensive. Chancellor Olaf Scholz's government confirmed Wednesday morning that Berlin plans to send at least 14 German-built Leopard 2 tanks to the front line. U.S. media also reported that Joe Biden's administration is expected to officially announce Washington's commitment, with at least 30 M1 Abrams tanks expected to be sent. The timeline remains unclear as to when the vehicles would make it into combat. Still, both sides on the war acknowledge that it is a significant development with the potential to change the math on the battlefield. Official Russian response was loaded with typical incendiary rhetoric. Dmitry Peskov, press secretary to Russian President Vladimir Putin, said the new tanks would burn like all the rest, only these ones are expensive. Anatoly Antonov, Russian ambassador to the US, told state media company TASS that the news was another blatant provocation and that US tanks would be destroyed by our military the same all other NATO equipment has and will be destroyed. One Russian political commentator Ivan Arkatov told media site Novorossiya that Germany's announcement, which followed America's, showed that the US was the puppet master of the West. This is an indicator of Germany's lack of sovereignty. It is not for nothing that a large number of US military bases are located in Germany. If the Germans are already under the spell of the Americans, what can we say about other Western countries? Until now, the US and Germany have resisted pressure to join the British military, which promised last week to send a dozen Challenger II tanks to Ukraine, in sending heavy armor to Ukraine, fearing the move would escalate the conflict and make NATO a direct party to the war with Russia. Washington has also previously cited the extensive training and maintenance that the high-tech Abrams tanks demand. While the reported number of tanks is likely to fall short of the 300 Ukraine says it needs to win the war, the move could spark a chain reaction of other Western nations sending similar aid, including France, where the government is also considering sending its own Leclerc tanks to the front line. This would allow Ukraine to make substantial attacks on the ground and, combined with the Patriot air defense systems pledged by the US at the end of last year, could help Ukraine to make serious progress on the battlefield. Pro-Putin political scientist Sergei Markov wrote on his Telegram channel that he feared all this was being done for the planned spring offensive of the armed forces of Ukraine under the command of NATO generals. Russian political scientist Malik Dudikov shared Markov's concerns, but suggested that a possible offensive may not come as early as spring. Washington will have to make concessions. They will need to specifically purchase Abrams for Ukraine, since it was not part of their original plan to give away their tanks, Dudikov suggested. Commenters on a RIA Novosti article reporting the announcement were also fearful. Now that Kyiv is being supplied directly with tanks, our men will become exhausted, one person said. They will pour a hundred tanks into the fire every three months. It will drag out the conflict. If we want to succeed we will need to use bombers from the air. Another commenter stressed the need for Russia to actively prepare for the coming offensive, if it hoped to interrupt the battlefield defeats that have become all too common for Russia, Ukraine, will prepare a major offensive with the participation of all Western Challenger tanks, Leopards and armored vehicles sent to Ukraine, the commenter said. I hope this time our intelligence will be able to figure out where this offensive will be and the army will be ready to avoid another Kharkiv repeat. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description.